Hey everybody, Justin Sainer here. How's it going? I've got a really great print-on-demand video for you, and I'm going to be showing you the best five print-on-demand products that you should be selling in your store. It doesn't matter what type of store you have. It doesn't matter what niche you're in. You're going to want to have these five print-on-demand products in there, make money on them. Let's jump right into it. Why print on demand? Well, first of all, it's the best business model online. And I don't think anything even comes close. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how this works on the next slide. You're never gonna to have to touch a product either. This is why it works so well. There's no upfront cost. There's no product inventory. There's no shipping. There's no going to a warehouse, none of that. And there are over 400 different print on demand products at various price points, you have low ticket, mid ticket, high ticket. I'm going to show you different examples, and they're all print on demand. Here's exactly how it's going to work. First, you're going to create designs for the print on demand product, whether it's a design for the wall canvas or for the t-shirt or for the hoodie. Once you have that design, you're going to be able to add that product into your store, right? We're not ordering anything up front. We have no inventory. We're just simply adding the product to our store. And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step with each of the products. Once your product is in the store, Customers, of course, can come in, they can order, and they could pay you, right? They could actually place orders for these products, and this is the best part of the business. Our job is done. We collect our profit. There's nothing else that needs to be done. There's nothing else that we could even do. This is how print-on-demand works. And in the background, the print-on-demand partner will automatically receive the customer information. They'll automatically receive the order information, and then they'll simply create the product, ship the product to the customer, and provide the tracking number on your behalf. This is the, how every single online business looks, but with print on demand, we get to stop right over here. And all the hard work keeps going in the background automatically without us lifting a finger. Okay, product number one is going to be wall canvas. And I've been talking about wall canvas for a while. It's still my favorite print on demand product to sell because it's got the highest margin, right? If you're looking to make the most profit per product, you wanna be selling wall canvas. And there's a very high perceived value that your customers put on wall canvas as well. So not only is it high margin, but you're gonna be able to sell it for a high ticket uh, cost because your customers understand that this is a higher ticket, higher perceived value product, and it can work with any niche. Doesn't matter if you're selling to dog lovers, doesn't matter if you're just a general store, right? You can have an entire store just based on canvas prints. We see a lot of big stores that are doing exactly that, making a lot of money. And almost every print on demand provider understands this. Wall Canvas a couple of years back, only a few suppliers had it. Now really everyone has it because again, high ticket product, one of the highest margin products you could do when it comes to print on demand. Combine that with the high perceived value. That's why a lot of print on demand entrepreneurs are making a lot of money selling Canvas. And the sales price will vary you know, wildly, right? You could be all the way down as low as $50 for something like maybe an eight by 10 wall canvas. You can get as high as a 40 by 60, right? We're talking about three, four, five feet in terms of size. Those can get up to four or five, six, seven hundred dollars per sale on these canvas prints. So really high margin, really high profit. The number one print on demand product, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Now let's go over the shoulder and actually set up a wall canvas product. I'm going to show you the Tsunami print on demand app. It's podapp.justincener.com. You see the link below this video. Free to install. You just add the app, and then it's going to bring you into the Tsunami app. This is the uh, little homepage of the app and you'll find it in your app section of your Shopify store. And we want to come over here to products because we want to sell wall canvas. And you see there's hundreds of different print on demand products over here. We're going to come to canvas prints and we see that there are three different sizes that we can sell. We have an eight by 10, 11 by 14, a 12 by 12. So these are some of the smaller sizes that we have on here. And you see the costs with Tsunami. There's two different costs depending on if you are a free user or if you are a premium user, see $23.93 or $17.95. And this is how all the print on demand products will work. There's gonna be a cost that, it, uh, that will cost you to get the product produced and shipped to the customer and then you'll charge a different price. So we're coming over here. Let's go ahead and create this eight by 10 canvas. And with Tsunami, they have a bunch of different options because they have your standard print on demand where you would just simply upload a design and it would get printed on the canvas. But they also have what they call pre-designs, which are basically uh, pre-designed templates that the customer can then add their own image to or add their own text to or just fully personalizable where they literally can create their own canvas. So lots of different ways to do it. Let's start with the standard print-on-demand. I'll show you a couple different options. So we're going to come over here and click create new design. And most print-on-demand uh, apps, this is the Tsunami app, most of them work the same way in terms of they're going to give you a little designer over here and you'll be able to add your image. You could add it from Instagram or Facebook or upload it from your PC. 
I'll upload an image from my PC, right? This is where you would upload your canvas design. And then it's gonna be shown over here in your images section. I'll just drag it over here. And what you could do at this point, you can shrink it down. You see the different sizes in terms of the alignment, right? You wanna obviously be within the uh, outline of the product. So we'll shrink it down over here. Of course, we could reposition, we could do whatever we want. We could also add other images on top of this. We could add text on top of this as well. This is just the basic designer for, uh, you see the text, right? We could just bring it wherever we want, we'll just delete it. This is the basic designer for really any type of print on demand where you're gonna upload the design. You then click create design and you're gonna see that this uh, you know product is now shown over here. This will be the actual product that they purchase when we go ahead and create the product. So let's move forward. We now wanna set the title and what I really like about the Tsunami app, you set everything up right inside here. So we'll call this, uh, it's just a random hockey logo I have. A hockey logo, canvas print. Of course, this is just an example. And uh, we're gonna come down here into the description. You see they preload a little bit of a description over here. And uh, what we wanna do is customize a little bit, tell a story, get them excited, right? We just wanna basically add a little bit more than just the kind of uh, details about the product, which automatically get added. So tell a story, get them excited about the product. Uh, really the only thing else you need to do is set the price. So we're gonna see over here the profit calculator. This is again inside Tsunami showing the cost and the shipping, right? It's only gonna cost $4 to ship in the US, $5 to uh, UK, $7.50 to Australia, and then there'll be some additional cost depending on where else you're going. You see two to three days production, three to five days shipping. And right over here, we could literally set our margin. And you know we can go anywhere between 40, 50, $60 over here showing that we're gonna hit about $36 profit on a $60 item. Uh, again, really great margins, really, really that 60% profit margin. I mean, really great uh, margins over here inside of wall canvas. And this is just one of the smaller sizes. You could imagine getting even larger. And again, everything is just contained in this one page. So we're gonna click publish to store. And uh, this little demo product will get added to the store. It literally just takes a few seconds. Here you go, product is added. And I'm gonna come down here into products. And now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that exact product that we created. Here's that hockey logo canvas print. And uh, just like that, we now have a product that is available to be purchased, $59.99, right? And this is literally all set up. There's nothing else that needs to be done. Um, the customer you know, doesn't need to email us any type of images or anything like that. It's just gonna be exactly what is shown. Now, I'll show you another example. We'll come back over here to apps and we'll come to Tsunami again. And over here, I will show you an option where you can actually uh, allow the customer to personalize it. So we'll come back We'll do the eight by 10 again. Now we're just gonna do fully personalizable and you see that there's no option to upload a design. Why? Because the customer is gonna create their own design. So I even like naming it something like this, personalize it, eight by 10 canvas with your photo. Okay, again, we could add some stuff over here. Now that we have a personalized product, you know, we can, we can charge higher. There's a higher perceived value over here, but our costs are gonna stay the same. We'll come over here and publish this product. And this personalization idea works with all of the different products inside of Tsunami. So you'll see I have a, a bunch of different examples over here. Here's the eight by 10. Come and take a look at this. A little bit different now, there's no add to cart button because the customer has to personalize the actual product. They'll come over here, see the same designer that we saw, right? They have the example bleed graphics and the uh, outline and all that stuff. We'll come over, add image, right? Now we're in the customer shoes, right? And they have the same functionality that we do. And I'll just upload an image Let's say they wanted to have an image of a shoe for whatever reason, right? It could be whatever photo the customer uploads and we'll get that placed right over here. They could shrink, right? They have full control over everything. They could rotate it, make it abstract if they want, right? They have full control. Then they press add to cart and the image gets saved and actually shown inside of the cart. So it's a really cool feature. So this is just an example for canvas, of course. Here you see the shoe on the canvas, um, but really this can work uh, with any type of product in terms of Tsunami's print on demand. So uh, really powerful, right? That's uh, how you do wall canvas. And again, main takeaway from wall canvas, really nice profit margins. Okay, number two, t-shirts, right? T-shirts are always gonna be associated with print on demand. And that's because they were really the first print on demand product that came out. It was really the product that always made the most sense for print on demand. And you're always gonna have t-shirts in your store. I call these a staple product, right? You're gonna have them in every store, whether you're selling to dog lovers, to cat lovers, just a general t-shirt store, it doesn't matter you're always gonna be offering t-shirts. And this works with any niche, it works with any type of customer, because think about it, go in your closet right now, you have 25, 30 t-shirts, you're gonna buy more this year. 
right? So all print-on-demand providers, of course, have T-shirts and lots of different variations of T-shirts. You're going to be looking at anywhere between a $20 to $30 price point. The people that can sell for a little bit higher than $30, it's because they have a great brand. So if you've done a great job developing your brand, if you have a beloved brand that people really love coming back to and wearing, then you could try even higher than $30. But this is your low ticket product, your kind of entry level product that again, every single store will have, every print on demand provider offers it. T-shirts, never gonna go anywhere either. It's the number two product on this list. I'm back over here inside of the Tsunami print on demand app. We're in the apparel section. And when you talk about T-shirts, there's always a ton of different T-shirts. We have infant T-shirts, youth T-shirts, uh, body suits for infants, uh, kids heavy tea, men's cotton tea, fitted tea, right? There's page after page of all these different styles of t-shirts, tank tops and long sleeve t-shirts. And of course we'll get into hoodies and all that other stuff, but there's a lot of different uh, kind of options and all, all the different print on demand providers are like this as well. You need to make a determination in terms of what are you going for? Increased margin uh, or increased price, right? Either way, you're going to be able to put money in your pocket. But if, uh, if you're trying to just go for a basic t-shirt, I recommend going for the kind of basic guild in, get the cheapest cost in terms of the shirts. If you're trying to build a premium brand, then you can go with something softer like a next level or a fashion cut shirt. Um, then you can charge a little bit more. Okay, so you see all the different prices. Again, the uh, black price is for people who are using the free app. The green is for people who are using the premium app. And uh, you know we can get as low as $6.50 for a t-shirt right over here. So again, go for margin unless you're trying to build a fashion brand. Um, we can make some really nice margin over here. And this is again, the same setup as we had for wall canvas, right? We could do our standard print on demand. We could have pre-designed print on demand where there's a template on the shirt and they add stuff or they could just create their own. All right, I'll just show you again for standard. This is how we're gonna do standard print on demand. Click create new design and we're going to have our designer open over here. We could use some of the pre-existing designs if we wanted, but we'll come again and upload our own design. Just uploading takes a second. We'll see that the logo will get added over here. We'll simply drag it onto our shirt and we can rotate it. We could do whatever we want. We could increase the size, decrease the size, full control. Again, we just have that bounding box, this little dotted line. We'll click create design, and this is gonna then place this design onto the t-shirt product, and then we'll just need to set a title. We'll set a price, and then we'll publish this product. So we set our product title. I'll just call it example product. Again, we'll come over here. We'll add some more information, add a story get them excited, right? Good product descriptions. Over here we have pricing, right? Here's our cost, here's our shipping, all the information shown right over here, right? We're gonna typically make sure the customer charges shipping as well. So we can go anywhere between 20 and $30. I typically go 24.99. You see we have a $17 profit on here, about 68% profit margin. Now, are you gonna make the most money per sale on t-shirts? No, not per sale, but you might sell the most in terms of volume, right? So there's absolutely no reason why we wouldn't have it. And coming down here, we have all the different colors, right? We don't want to have it on white. That's no problem. We could just literally uncheck it off of white. If we don't want to have it on uh, any other color, we could just keep it on black. And basically we're going to have that exact type of product and we could just simply publish it into the store and we'll be good to go. Really simple over here. I'm going to show you another example as this loads. I'm going to show you in the Printful website. Printful is another print on demand provider. And we can come over here into products and we could literally go ahead and create a new product just like we would on the other end, we're gonna to go to t-shirts and you can see uh, kind of the same setup, right? They show the pricing over here for all the different styles and here's kind of their basic one. And it's the same process. We're gonna come over and just upload the design over here and we're just simply gonna click on upload and it just gets dropped right on the t-shirt. Same as the other side, we could just literally shrink it around, move it around, do whatever we want. We could also add text on top or add clip art, but we're good with the design. We're gonna to go to the next step over here and this is basically where we're going to select the mock-up, come over here, use a model mock-up. Coming to the next over here, we have our title. So I'll just call this example two t-shirt. Obviously you'd give it a real product title. And what we are gonna do again, add a story, right? But this is just for the whole point of getting these products in here. We'll proceed to pricing. Again, we'll set 24.99, going right down the line for all of the pricing here. And we will submit to store and this will add that product or send this product into our store just like the Tsunami app did. And we can come and take a look at our products over here. Here is example product and here is example two product and literally added right into the store directly from the apps themselves. So again, not gonna make the most money per sale, but you are gonna sell the most of these. It's a staple product and it deserves to be in every store.
Real quick, if you have any questions about print on demand, make sure that you join my 100% free group. You see it on the screen over here, Senior e-commerce mastermind, or you could just type in group.justinsenior.com. It's going to bring you over totally free. Uh, I try to answer as many questions as I can. I always share some great stuff, share student results, share tips, share new videos, free trainings. Everything's inside here. So make sure you check it out, Senior e-commerce mastermind group. Okay, number three is hoodies. And hoodies used to be my favorite print-on-demand product to sell, was soon replaced by Canvas, and it's for the same reason. Higher ticket, higher perceived value, higher profit, more money in our pockets when we sell hoodies. And you see 40 to $50 on a selling price, these can cost as low as $18 to get produced. So we have some nice margin over here coming from any print-on-demand provider. Every single one is gonna have hoodies, right? Hoodies were a real big money maker. Probably, you know, when you talked about higher ticket print-on-demand a few years ago, hoodies would be included in there. It's kind of been replaced by wall canvas, but this works with any niche, right? This is a higher margin staple product. Again, look in your closet. You have a multiple number of hoodies and sweatshirts. You're going to buy more this year. You're going to buy more next year. High ticket, high margin staple product working with any niche. And again, any print on demand provider will have it. Again, we are inside of the Tsunami app and you know how it works now. We're going to come right over here into the hooded sweatshirt or hoodie section. And we see the three types of print on demand again. We'll go with standard. We'll create that new design. Again, we have all the different colors that we want. You see a couple different uh, options over here, like sport gray. We have that available inside of uh, the hoodie section. We could do pre-designs. We could do fully customizable. We'll just go ahead and upload our design again inside of our little design editor. Coming over here, click upload. And it just takes a second to upload this file into the designer. It's going to come over here into our images section, which is then going to allow us to drag this one over. We can make it a little big to make sure we fill the size here and we'll click create design. It's going to bring us back into that one page product creator. And uh, again, I'll just save some time and uh, pause this real quick. Okay. So here's our design. Here's our mockups. You set your product title, you add in that story into the product description and take a look at the shipping cost a little bit more because it's a hoodie. We have over here in terms of our selling price, we're getting about 50% margin. It costs us 20 bucks or yeah, 2002, we're making 19.97 on a 39.99 sale. We could also go as high as 44.99 or even in some cases 49.99, which would be about $30 profit per sale. So just like everything else, we'll click publish to store and in just a matter of seconds, this product will be added into the product library, all done. We can come over here and actually take a look over here. Example three hoodie, and of course you'd give it a real name, but here is that hoodie, here's everything, here's our little story, right? Product mock-up title, all that great stuff right inside of our store. And this one was added through Tsunami, but every single print on demand provider is going to for sure have hoodies. And, uh, you know, I really love it on, uh, I love selling hoodies. I love hoodie season because the margins are so much nicer than t-shirts. Okay. We are looking at number four now, jewelry. This is a little bit different, right? This is not your typical print on demand product. This is more of a unique print on demand product. And again, higher perceived value on here, because it's just jewelry, right? Jewelry has a higher perceived value than something like a t-shirt or a hoodie. And to take it to the next level, you could personalize this jewelry, which really increases the perceived value significantly, right? You could have a little necklace or you could have a necklace with your, let's say your kid's name on it. Obviously the latter is gonna have a much higher perceived value, meaning you could sell it for a higher price. You can make more money. And you could sell these for between 60 to 100 to even $200, depending on the product. There's lots of different print on demand jewelry pieces out there, but it is a little bit limited in terms of the print on demand providers that are out there because this isn't the most unique, I'm sorry, this isn't the most staple product. This is more unique, right? Not everyone is gonna be a customer for print on demand jewelry, but they are out there. There's lots of different great options. And again, the high margin, the high profit on these is why we pay attention to them and why they're on this list. When it comes to jewelry, Printful is one of the options over here. We can come under add product. And again, I'm in my Printful app inside of my Shopify store coming down here to accessories. And we see the jewelry section and this is all about engraved and personalized ne um, uh, necklaces or bracelets or whatever it is, just jewelry, pretty much given the opportunity to have the customer create what's going to be over here. So you'll see how this works. We have a bunch of different options over here in terms of color. I'm just going to st uh, stick with the uh, black rhodium one looks silver. And what we need to do is add text over here. And you're going to see what I'm doing in a second. I'm just going to put customize and uh, we'll want to make that or actually we'll say custom. Okay, and we'll want to uh, do that. We could shrink the size down a little bit just to make sure it's obvious what's going on. And then we need to check this box right there. Let your customers create 
personalized versions of the design, right? So that's the key. You know, they are not going to want to have it say custom. They might want to have it say their name or their kid's name. So go to the next step over here, proceed to media. This is now going to give them the ability or you to give the ability to have different types of mock-ups. We could have lifestyle mock-ups showing the actual product inside the box. Here we give the title. It's called as example for jewelry. And, you know, same thing going on here, right? We're going to tell the story. We're going to get the customer excited. Come down here. Don't need to change anything else here. We'll just proceed to pricing. We got a little bit of room over here. We're going to try somewhere between $50, $60, $70 for a lower uh, ticket product like this. There are some higher ticket jewelry items as well. It can go well over $100 on the retail cost. And this is now getting uploaded into our Shopify store. We could view this on our store. And here is that actual custom look. And here's the personalization that we have as well. So again, jewelry with Printful at least, all about being able to be personalized. The customer will be able to open this up and literally write their own name over here. And it just simply replaces the actual thing that I set up here in terms of saying custom. So a uh, reason why you can get $59.99 or even higher, again, because of that personalization, this is one option. Um, I'll show you another option over here. This is the Shine On app. See the link directly below this video. Shine On is basically print on demand jewelry. They're based in the USA. Um, a lot of cool products. We'll come over here and take a look at this little heart necklace. And kind of the same as all the other uh, setups, we're gonna come over and add an image. Okay, I uploaded my image. We're gonna come over as it's uploading, it's going to basically size it, ask us if we wanna keep it transparent or remove the transparency. We're always gonna to wanna to keep it. It's gonna allow that background to actually shine through, especially on the gold, looks super nice. You see that we could sell these for between 25 and 60 or 40 and $75. Here's the cost, 10 bucks, 16 bucks. Going on to the product assets, these are just the mock-ups, right? How it's gonna look in your store. A lot of different options to choose from. I really love this kind of box view here. You get a box. Uh, all this is kind of packaged up real nice. We're going to come over here and, of course, give our example for title. And this is a Shine On product. And, you know, just saying the same thing over and over. Right? We're going to tell our story over there. Here's going to be where we set our prices. Come over and go a little bit higher. And this is really just for their own categorization. We could just say gift for a friend. And then we will publish the product. And it's going to take just a couple seconds to add this into our store. So that's done. We'll come and actually view the product in the store. And here it is. They actually give you a, a little bit of a landing page layout that they create themselves. The Shine On app does that automatically with all their products. You see stainless. You see the 18 karat gold finish. You see the pricing for each. Really nice. High perceived value on these. Really great imagery as well. So this is another option to sell print-on-demand jewelry. Number five, probably one you didn't think about, puzzles. Print-on-demand puzzles super popular over the pandemic puzzles just as a product in itself became really popular really viral and they were already hooked into print on demand a lot of people didn't know about that there are a good number of print on demand providers that actually do offer puzzles that i've been selling them for a while now really really nice product and totally personalizable a lot of people will upload a photo and have that get turned into a puzzle that's a great business model on its own right personalized products personalized puzzles it allows you to have a little bit higher ticket value but typically you're going to be selling for about 40 to 80 dollars depending on how many pieces, depending on the size of the puzzle. But when you talk about unique products, right, this is at the top of the list, right? A lot of people don't even know that this can be done with print on demand. It's one of my best selling products, one of my students best selling products. And like I said, it's gotten really hot over the past 12 to 18 months. So definitely want to check this out. It makes the list over here as the fifth most popular print on demand product. Again, I'm inside of the Tsunami app. They have the best puzzles out there. We're going to come down here to the puzzle section. And we got a 25 piece hardboard jigsaw puzzle. It costs $14.58 if you are a free member or $11.46 if you are a premium member. And you'll come over here, same setup as always, three different types of print on demand. We could do the standard, the pre design, or we could do the fully personalizable. I highly recommend allowing for this to allow the customer to literally just upload a photo that can get turned into a puzzle. So I'm going to say turn your photo into a puzzle. It's going to be my title. You already know what I'm going to say here. We're going to see our pricing over here, right? Definitely a little bit higher ticket value because we personalize, right? You could even go as high as $50 on a $15 product cost, looking at around 71% product margin, making 35 bucks on a $50 sale. Here's the shipping cost, only $4 in the US. Don't sleep on this product. A lot of people ignore this product. A lot of people, you might not personally like puzzles. I don't personally like puzzles, but I do like making money from them. A lot of people are buying puzzles and uh, they're a surprisingly kind of viral product. Add on top of that, the personalization that you can do here. And it's uh, pretty much a no brainer to have this in your store, regardless of your niche. So we added this in over here. 
I'm going to come over here. We could find that puzzle product. Here it is. Turn your photo into a puzzle. We'll view it over here. It's still got that editor, just like any other product that you were creating through Tsunami, allowing the customer to personalize it. They'll add an image. It takes just a second or two to upload the image, and then you're going to see the actual size, the safety area, the bleed area, really just the templates, right? We want to make sure that we're within these lines for the main part of our design. We're going to increase our image to make sure that it fits inside of the box that we want to get printed. Arrange it the way that we want. And there you go. They can now add the product into their cart and they're going to see an exact preview of this. In this case, my cat looking out the window uh, shown right over here. Right. And that's actually a really powerful tool, right? The personalization being shown in the cart. So that's how you do puzzles. Tsunami, definitely the best option for that. Really good pricing as well. You could hit some really big margins. Those are the top five print on demand products that each and every one of you should have in your stores. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content. Join my free group, Senior E-Commerce Mastermind. A lot of great content all over the place so you could learn a lot just from joining and subscribing. I hope this video helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.